Ah! <laughs> I almost fell off my chair. Welcome to the channel, family. As always, I am your host, Mike Hernandez. Super glad to be back here in front of the camera shooting for you guys. Lots of things going on within the family. Whew! Let me see if I can quickly give you a brief summary. So, Father's Day, birthday, we're having a baby, gender reveal, little girl, Camila Hernandez on her way. Couldn't be more excited. Oh yeah, and then somewhere in there I got a really bad infection and kind of jacked me up. But whatever, right? All is good in the world. 2020 is freaking insane. Baby uh, Hernandez is gonna be here uh, either beginning of December or end of November, and I just couldn't be more pleased and feeling super blessed for the Lord. Big guy upstairs, I appreciate it, man. Everything that we've been uh, trying to do with our lives and everything that we've set out to do has just been hand in hand watching over us and I just couldn't be more pleased. Coincidentally, that's also why I haven't done a video in like two, three weeks. Sorry guys, life goes on, but I'm back. Today, we are going to be talking about a question that I have been getting and we did a live on Instagram. If you guys aren't following on there, check it out. Uh, I do a lot of interaction there. I'm actually trying to make that more happen here, but we're still kind of in a growing phase in YouTube and it is what it is. So, to answer the question of if you could only have one backpack, what would it be? Today we are going to answer that. Before we do, the one bag that can do it all, shoot the intro. Yeah, shoot the intro. guys let's talk business like all of my videos I like to get in here and be upfront with who my partnerships are who I am working with and I believe it's ethical and it gives you a good idea of what exactly we're doing on this page okay there are several different things going on whether sometimes it's just a vlog sometimes it's other you know product evaluation sometimes it's off-roading Jeeps what have you today I'm very excited to announce that vertex has come aboard the channel and is not only supporting myself but is committed to supporting you guys with a 25% off discount code. <clears throat> Use code Hernandez to get 25% off anything on the website. What's exciting about this is I've actually purchased things from Vertex for a little over two years now. As a matter of fact, <laughs> it's just on the floor. Uh, Mr. Tried and True Gamut Plus, the original blue bag that I've had for two years now. It's all empty, obviously, because the 2.0 is out and that's what we're talking. The reason I show you that though, is so you know, I'm excited because this is a company that I've already purchased stuff from in the past. I really like what they're doing. Uh, they're leaders in the space and that's why I'm really excited to be partnered with them. So Vertex, thank you guys, I appreciate it. Uh, we also have some stuff in the future. I have another bag that's almost done that we're gonna be talking about in a different kind of setting or scenario. Today, we're gonna answer if you can only have one bag, one, what's what would it be and it is going to be the gamut 2.0 that you can see directly over my shoulder there So the point of that video and short clip of me and Mikey was just to show you guys This is an everyday bag whether you're off-roading camping overlanding going to work What have you I believe that this bag is the best answer for everything um, As we kind of look at it I'll pull it off the shelf here and just to give you an idea of how I load it up It is an everyday bag that just happens to be the answer um, That I've used on my everyday to day basis. This is the new 2.0 gamut. It's got the new brown and ranger green color, which I think is really great. 
because it gives you a more of a backpacking outdoorsman style rather than being so overtly tactical, right? Um, when you look at it, the styling is really nice. You have all the back support pieces in it, the new materials. It does have that pass through. So you can kind of like Captain America carry it if you wanted to. Makes it a little more comfortable, a little more breathable, especially here in Arizona where it's 150 degrees. Um, but on the back here, since I'm back here, this right here, these paddles, these little handles that are on the zippers, to me are very important, um, especially if you're going to want to fast access the back portion of this bag. This makes it very easy to get in, yank on it, it opens up. And rather than having a smaller zipper that you can easily, right, I'm trying to exaggerate, obviously, um, makes it harder, where this you can grab it and then you're in there and it opens up, right? So that's why I like this. On one of the other bags that you guys saw in one of my other prior episodes, I did have some issues with a much smaller bag grabbing something like that and I was even thinking about, you know what, maybe I should put a paracord on it. What's great about Vertex is they've already thought about that on all of their bags as I understand it. So that's cool. So uh, since I'm back here, you can see there's all these attachments. You can see here there's a little bit of a leather piece, the symbol there from Vertex. All these come off, they have clamps. Um, and then there is a waist strap to give you a much tighter, closer um, strap on the bottom of your body, probably around your waist. Um, and then you can see here the comfortable straps that are on there. Like I said, they breathe really well in the heat and humidity. Obviously we're not that humid in here in the desert, but um, we do get pretty hot. So I have been carrying this. When I shot that video you guys saw with me and Mikey, I mean, it was already 112 degrees on that and um, I wasn't sweating through it because it breathes pretty nicely. Uh, like I said, this is the back area and I wanna start this actually from the back because a lot of you guys like to um, ask about firearms. I know that's part of the reason why, if not a majority of the reason why this bag is so popular, it does several things when it comes to carrying firearms very well, not just you know somewhat good, but very well. So if I'm wearing this bag and it's against my body and I sling it, pull it off one of my shoulders, I can swing this open and you can see there's a compartment in there and it is carrying a Glock 19 as well as extra ammunition or an extra magazine in there. Now the reason why I have it set up like this is because I'm right handed and when I swing it open I can easily reach in with that right hand and whammo I have my G19 ready and pretty quickly out. So let me set this aside. Just like how you saw in some of my other videos, it has a Tactagami. This may be a little awkward for you guys to see, but this is the best way I can shoot it. It's got a, a Tactagami holster um, that I use. It does have a slight little snag right there. You kind of have to shoehorn it in when you're inserting it back. Um, but that's for me just because I have, you know, the suppressor sights on it. Um, but these work extremely well. I highly recommend these. These are also from Vertex, the Tactagami, and you're gonna see those throughout this. So what's great about this bag is it gives you the capability to carry something bigger, right? Um, on myself, I always have, well, on my off body, I always at least carry my Glock 19. In my opinion, um, if you guys have seen my EDC video, it doesn't make sense for me to have something this big that I'm carrying anyways and have like a little Glock 43 in it. Uh, that I typically have, you know, on my appendix and on body. Obviously, I always say on body carry is the best way to go. But if you're going to go off body, why not carry something that will give you a little extra? For example, my Glock 19. I am planning on going either to a full size, full frame gun like a 17 or something a little bigger because I have the space now rather than on my, you know, short five foot six frame, I can't really conceal carry a Glock 17. So I don't have that yet. Right now we're just running the G19 and its current setup. This is the Dynamic Weapon Solution slide. More to come from them, we'll focus on that in a different video. But this is how I have it in the bag. And you can see there, little snag, easy enough overcome if you do have the suppressor sights and then you can stick that in there however you like. So on the inside also, I do have an extra magazine. Um, this is a 31 rounder. Again, if I'm gonna have the space, why not carry more? Why not upgrade your situation? Here is the 31 round magazine. And this is also managed, let me see here if I can grab it, by another Tactagami 
mag holder. What's great about these is they do have that little rubber insert. Um, when you're building these, because they call them Tactigami because they fold up really nicely and it'll give you retention. So if you do have, you know, a magazine and it goes in, you can see there, it'll give it a nice little kind of um, like semi-retention, a little bit of friction in there. So if you're moving around, you can see I can even bounce it and it won't come out, right? I mean, obviously if you get in there and yank it out, that's gonna do that, but those pieces also in the holster um, will give you that little bit of tension that you need. And that's what I have in the back. So you can actually see here, and I'll open it, the whole panel opens up if you need it. So as you see here, it's got a little bit of a Velcro uh, um, end piece here that slides back once you have released the Velcro, and then inside of it is the armor. Now, what's great about this is it's a level 3A rated plate. Um, it's super light, you can see here, easily to, easily to move, easy to move around, um, which is great because you don't wanna add too much weight on this with let's say like a steel piece or something that's just gonna weigh you down and be uncomfortable. Being comfortable is very important when you're carrying because you will do it more if you are. This is a good choice. One of the things that you do wanna consider though is they're good for about five years. And then after that, they recommend that you change them and that's where the warranty is. The other thing too is with level three, uh, it's a pistol caliber rated plate, right? So on the back side of it, you're just gonna get a, a description that says it's rated to defeat 357 SIG, FMJ, and 44 mag SJHP. So this should be able to defeat all pistol caliber rounds. And you can see here that the Defender armor piece should be away from you. And the sticker will tell you here, this side to be worn against the body. So if your body is here, that's where it should be on your back. Or if you're gonna flip it around, that's the way it goes in. It does give you that added protection in the event of you know, gunfire as far as uh, pistol rated calibers, but it also does give you a little bit of structure. When you saw me and I, you know, pulled it out of there, it fits so perfectly and these, these guys at Defender Armor uh, work so well with Vertex that it does give it even just a little bit more structure when you're, uh, when you're inserting it there and using it the way it is intended, right? I'm not sure if they intended for it to be uh, like stiffer or have more structure, but it definitely does give it that feeling, which is good because if you're carrying a bag like this and you have weight in it, the more structure it's gonna have in it, the more comfortable it's gonna be. And like I just said, if it's more comfortable, you're gonna use it more often. And that's what's important when it comes to that. So we're gonna go ahead and leave this out. Zip this up. And that's the end of the back panels. I, I have a friend who um, taught our CCW course and he was actually a victim of a break-in and three guys uh, with firearms entered into his home through his kitchen window and woke him up in the middle of the night and what he ended up doing um, with a different plate system like a plate carrier was he took his girlfriend to the restroom she hid there um, and then he put a plate on her right so this is cool because if you already have this and if you don't have you know a plate carrier you could easily you know take your loved ones just you know wrap it around them and and hide them in the corner and, or something like that, right? It just gives you that added layer of protection um, in the event of an emergency. Oh, he actually ended up shooting <laughs> all three of them and um, they lived. My CCW instructor was, was a good course. So as we flip this over, here is the end that everybody sees on your back. On the bottom here, the first thing you're gonna notice is I have a dynamic weapon solution patch on the little patch panel down there. And the front of this is designed to be more of a backpacking style, right? More of an adventure um, style. The front end of it, like I said, is a little more covert. It's got a panel here, you can see the zippers, and then these seams are there to kind of relieve um, space if you do have things behind it. I'll show you what's behind it here in a second. It's kind of a weird camera angle, I'm trying to do this. But you'll also notice here too, it does have this pull tab, and then these are sticking out for now. So you can see the zipper ends here, that if you need to individually grab them or in the event of emergency or something fast you need to blow it out you can actually just grab this and yank it and the whole thing comes apart the other cool thing about it too is as you're looking at this there is a portion down here where you can open it. you hear the velcro and you can shove that in there and you can actually run this with more of an overt look with all the molly and the velcro exposed but i don't because look at what i have inside of it um, those people, those those who do not prepare the way that you and I do, or the way that we would want to be prepared, um, wouldn't understand seeing this on my back on a daily basis. This is a 
chest seal, it's vented, so you get two there. Um, and that's in the event of taking a round of the chest and you have that pressure or negative pressure that needs to be monitored. There is a vented chest seal pair in there. Um, in here, this is also another Tactigami piece that you can see can easily be taken off. And these are also used to hold, here we go, a 30 round magazine for a rifle, 30 round standard magazine. I have it open just a little bit more because like all the other bags and uh, vehicle stuff you've seen, I like to have BHRKs on me everywhere. Now this is a basic hemorrhaging response kit from Fieldcraft Survival. Um, this is good for one person. It's in collaboration with uh, North American Rescue and these things are a nice inexpensive way to keep yourself um, patched up essentially or holes plugged in the event of getting shot. That's why I have this in here. You can see here, it's the same retention piece that I was telling you about. You can see in there, there's a little plastic, um, like rubberized part in there that'll give some retention to let's say a magazine as it's being pushed in and out. Um, in this instance, I don't have too much tension on it because I want it to stay firm, but also easily be pulled out. This is a great option. If you have one of these or not, get them. They're part of the Tactigami series for Vertex. I just got my little patch on there. Um, but again, BHRK, chest seal, uh, shears for clothing, and then my always present cat tourniquet. These are a must have, have them everywhere. Good reassurance. The thought process behind this is if you have something to make holes, you also need something to patch holes, right? So that's the way I run it. Um, as I pull this back up and you see me use the zipper, you'll notice that on the bottom of the zipper, there is a little leather snap. And those actually snap on the inside here. I don't know if you can see that right there um, to create more of a secure closed front panel. Let's say you don't want anybody to by whatever strange circumstances yank on that, or even you, if you don't want to blow that completely out, you know, you can actually strap those there and it'll just fold to there and then you can stick your hand in it and use it the way you need to. So just a little added piece there. That's what I'm saying, like these guys thought of everything. So, oh, there's one more thing here too. When this is open, you can actually run it a, a, a separate way or a third or fourth way, however you want to think about it. There are these straps that do deploy. You can see here they have little hooks on them. And these are a metal, I don't know if you can hear that, aluminum clasp that actually will swing around onto the side here and clasp onto the side of the bag and then create a pocket, right? So let's say I got a, uh, let's say I got a helmet or a jacket or something that I just wanna loosely throw in there. That'll facilitate that when these two straps are in there. So, Lots to talk about just on that front panel alone, and we haven't even got into the center of it. So we're covered the front, how I set up mine. Um, the side panels are really pretty typical. Here you can see I have a water container. It's got a little draw on it, a string if I want to tighten it down. It does have some elastic in it, and it'll fit water bottles, whatever. And then opening on both sides are the same. You, you get the zipper here on the side, and then you have you know just storage for anything else that you need another zipper here on the inside just really really tons of storage options sometimes i'll even throw a suppressor when i have this set up to carry a rifle but we'll get to that here after this section as you're looking at the top here you'll notice that i have these two draw strings here um, double zippers and i can swing them open and what's great is i also have snaps here little wing snaps on both sides that'll also keep this from opening completely right so if I have something in here that I don't want anybody to see that sits towards the bottom, or I just want it to remain closed and not worry about it, these snaps are a good idea because no matter you know, what I do, see how those just stay the way they are, and then that's it, and I can access whatever I need to. See right? the little snaps are in. Fold this open, and you can see I'll have mine in here. I have a little surefire light, a knife, and then two pens. And then you do have even a little more Velcro piece here if you want to strap anything or move the, the other tassel here. That's also Velcro. Um, as you come to the top, you'll notice that it's got this protector here that is also adjustable on the inside. There's a lot of Velcro adjustment to that depending on what you want to have in here. Um, you can see here that I just have my laptop for work and it sits in there nicely. I don't have to worry about scratches or any impacts, right? Everything else is surrounding it. It does a great job of carrying my laptop, which is a, the primary way that I use it. 
Um, as you get in here and you undo the straps, you'll notice that this will basically open completely onto itself, right? It's like the whole extra section. Now this area is about 20 inches deep, okay? So when you're looking at it and you're thinking, well, what can I fit in there? You can see the 20 inch mark is right here on my thumb, right? So anything 20 inches and down is gonna go in there. Well, why do I show you that? Because when you're thinking about off body carry and, and, and um, stacking the deck in your favor, there is something here that you're gonna wanna do. As I walk away and I come back, you can hear my voice. Here is an option that will definitely upgrade your situation, okay? Now here is my 300 blackout 8.75 inch pistol. What's great about this is this short barrel, right? And in 300 blackout, it's designed for a nine inch barrel, which is about what this is. And you upgrade yourself to a rifle caliber, okay? The other great part about this AR is that it's got a law tactical folder, which essentially reduces the entire length of the rifle. So you can see here it's folded. Let's go ahead and get in there. Double check it, I already checked it before we started, but you can see there, there's nothing in the chamber and it's on safe. So we're gonna send the bolt forward, we're gonna fold it. Obviously there's no magazine in it. And then when we're getting in here, you can see that you can either choose to wrap it in the black or write it on top. And that's how easy it goes. Right here you can see I have it muzzled down light just came out or I'll flip it around and we'll go muzzle up so you can get an idea of where it's at and there's just plenty of room the thing that I love the part that I love about this is the concealability of something like that so here like I was talking about in the beginning of this you have a totally unassuming backpack right you wouldn't know that this has a ballistic panel you wouldn't know that there is an AR in it, medical supplies, tech. If you want, all you would even see is that. And that's why I think this bag is the one to rule them all. There's another couple of smaller features in here um, that I will show you. But case in point, that's why I really like this. Um, the weight is distributed pretty evenly for something you know like this. Um, and then if you want to add another layer, you know, you can add a suppressor this is my AAC SDNC obviously it won't fit with it on but I mean these are so quick you can deploy it from let's say one of the side panels and then boom boom and you're ready to go right so that's the reason why I like this bag when it comes to carrying something that will up your capabilities on the flip side of that the way I carry it you see the, the flashlight came out when I flung it open so flashlight here, open this up, and I have, you know, like my everyday things like my key for my truck. You just have to have it on you now. I showed you that in another video. And then some other personal things, personal items in here like um, cash, passport, cards, whatnot. On the bottom here I have my charging cable for the laptop. And that's it. That's the inside of this bag. Um, the side here, like I showed you earlier, could be opened up. That's where I could put my suppressor. And then on the top, it's got the classic glasses area, which I do have an additional rat's tourniquet. The reason why I like to have a rat's tourniquet, a lot of people hate on these, but I do have two dogs and small children with me all the time and you can't use a cat. So I know that it's, it's probably more of a priority to have a cat, but the rat still has some uses for it, which is why I just have it up there. Next to my reading glasses. So I'm getting a little older. I do have reading glasses when I need those. Typically it's for my laptop when I need to see up close and they easily stow away up here. Now that is the way that I run my Vertex Gamut 2.0. Um, no, I don't have any snacks in here. I know you guys get, I know you little fat kids get, <laughs> get mad at me for not doing that. Uh, sometimes I do, right? I don't like to keep them in there because yeah, it is what it is. I don't want them to rot or whatever. There is many uses for this bag. This, these are some of the ways that I have it set up. Currently, that's real typical for me. Um, I do have plans in the works to run a bigger handgun in it, and I can also carry that 300 blackout, which coincidentally, if you guys have seen the other uh, videos, I did take my, 
my buck with 300 blackouts, a whole another video that we can do and talk about how great that is and how great it isn't. Um, but to end this one out, make sure you consider this bag to facilitate anything that you need, right? It's just the right size, not too big, not too small, um, and it looks great. Well guys, I hope you liked that uh, real quick presentation of the gamut, a Vertex bag, as well as a brief uh, kind of rundown of how I set it up with the 300 Blackout and other various um, self-defense options. Um, if you like stuff like this, I do have another Vertex bag, uh, just to let you know it's the Dead Letter Sling or the DLS, which has a really great look for, let's say, um, you know, in office use. I also use that one quite a bit. It's just not completed the way that this one is. So once that one is done and, I'm, and I've got everything I need, I'll make sure to get it out to you as soon as possible. One thing I am trying to do is have a little bit more diversity on this page because survival, preparedness, outdoorsmen, you know, all those things have a lot of crossover. So that's why you will see, you know, the truck, uh, my new JL, or wife is JL, um, you know, firearms, Star Wars references, you know, those are all the things that I like. So I know that some of you are only here for, let's say, the Jeep or only here for the, uh, for the firearms and whatnot. That's great. Like, subscribe, tell your friends. I am trying to keep the page a little more balanced and not just do, you know, a slew of, of firearms for obvious reasons, you know, how YouTube is. But I appreciate the support, guys. If you like this stuff, share it, tell your friends, subscribe. I appreciate that. You really help me out. Comment in the section. Tell me what snack that you would put in the bag. And I'll catch you on the next one, guys. Talk to you soon.